So this video is really about two things. First of all, what's an arithmetic sequence? And then, what's an arithmetic sequence formula? So, first of all, an arithmetic sequence, what is it and what isn't it? Uh, let's use this as an example. Uh, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. Uh, that's one sequence. The second sequence I'm going to use is something like, uh, let's choose uh, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half, halving each time. One of these is an arithmetic sequence and one of these isn't. Uh, now, the definition of an arithmetic sequence is, uh, I'll just write it up. So an arithmetic sequence is one where each term has a common difference, a common difference. Difference as in subtract one from the other. So, this term to this term, add 3. This term to this term, add 3. This term, add 3. This term, add 3. This is an arithmetic sequence because each term has a common difference, the same amount between them. Now, this one. 32 to 16, there's a 16 difference. This one, there's an 8. This one, there's a 4. The differences between each term are different. So, this is not an arithmetic sequence. It's a sequence because you can see I'm just halving it every time. But it's not an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequences have a common difference. So before I show you the formula for an arithmetic sequence, I want you to think about how you would find the 100th term. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's the fifth term. How would you find the 100th term? Well, think about this. You've got the first term here, 5, and every time you go up a term, you go up 3. So if we had to jump 100 times to get uh, to term 100, um, actually, we only have to jump 99 times. Then, as long as we can take 3 and multiply it by 99, and then add that number to 5, we should be able to find the 100th term. So it's pretty straightforward. First term, add how many jumps you have to do, and that'll get you the 100th term, or the 500th term, or the 72nd term, whatever you need. Let's formalize it with a formula. All right, there's our formula. Uh, Tn, so the nth term, the hundredth term, the millionth term, whatever, is equal to term 1, the first term, plus n minus 1, that's, so if we're trying to find the hundredth term, 100 minus 1, uh, times d, d stands for common difference, common difference. Uh, now, sometimes this is written a slightly different way. Uh, sometimes it's written as term n equals a plus n minus 1, d. Uh, now the a just stands for first term. Uh, I might just take, make some small notes. All right, there's our little thing here. d is for common difference, n is for the number of the term, uh, a is for the first term. So finally, what is the 100th term of this sequence? Dot, dot, dot. What is t100? Well, using our formula, T100 equals the first term, 5, plus n minus 1, so n is 100 minus 1. Now think about where that number comes from. Remember I said to get to 100, to get to term 2 we do 1 leap, to get to term 3 we do 2 leaps, so to get to term 100 we do 99 leaps. That's, where that, that's why that formula works that way. D is the common difference, in this case is 3. So now we have 5 plus 99 times 3. Uh, 99 times 3 is 297 plus 5. So 5 plus 297 is uh, 302. So in this particular case, in this particular sequence, term 100 equals 302. All right, we've covered a lot there. You know what an arithmetic sequence is now. You know what the arithmetic sequence formulas look like. They're both the same, so don't be surprised if you see this one or this one. Uh, and finally, you know how to find the nth term.